Never Too Small by Zanib Mian. There was a young boy who was little and small. Even on his tiptoes, he wasn't very tall. He wanted to do things and do them with strength, but he just didn't try because of his length. So one day, a true friend wrote him a letter to make him feel good, to make him feel better. You're never too small or too big or too old to try something new, to try something bold. There was a little girl who was afraid of the dark. She found it more scary than the teeth of a shark. She would only step inside rooms that were lit because darkness might have something lurking in it. So one day, her brother wrote her a letter to make her feel good, to make her feel better. Don't ever be scared of what might go boo, because I am always here to watch over you. There was a little boy who was tidy and neat, but he never ever tried new things to eat. He thought that it might taste squeegee and runny, or worse, do funny things inside his tummy. So one day, his uncle wrote him a letter to make him feel good, to make him feel better. Your taste buds will thank you and may even dance if only you give tasty new foods a chance. There was a young girl who was afraid to climb high. She thought she might trip or fall into the sky. It was simply not safe with her feet off the ground, even with mommy or daddy around. So one day, her father wrote her a letter to make her feel good, to make her feel better. Conquer that climbing frame, so high and tall. I'll be there to help you. I won't let you fall. There was a young boy who said thank you and please, but going to school gave him wobbly knees. And what made the boy so nervous this way was that mom might forget him at the end of the day. So one day, his mother wrote him a letter to make him feel good, to make him feel better. I could never be too busy, too careless, too wild, to forget that I must go and pick up my child. There was a little girl who was ever so bright, but spiders gave her a spine-chilling fright. A hairy body and eight legs are most horrible features. She would not share a room with one of those creatures. So one day, her grandma wrote her a letter to make her feel good, to make her feel better. When you meet a spider and you don't know, what to do. It might help to remember it's more scared of you. Let's let go of our fears. Let's send them away. Then happily choose what to do, what to play. Whether it's holding a spider or talking out loud, let's just do it and make ourselves proud and look out for someone who might need a letter to make them feel good to make them feel better.